Hey, this is TerraToots with a quick introduction to the Node Network in TerraGen 4. The Node Network view can be intimidating, and up to this point we've minimized or ignored it. However, the Node Network can be a powerful, versatile tool, and is essential to more advanced usage of TerraGen. In fact, you'll quickly find that nearly any impressive image in TerraGen makes extensive use of the Node Network. Today, we'll cover the basics of understanding the Node Network view. Nodes are the basic building blocks of a Terrigen scene. Each element you add to your Terrigen scene, be it terrain, shader, or camera, is represented by one or more nodes in the network. In fact, one of the first things you might notice is that the default groups in the node network correspond to the tabs in the top bar. Terrain, shaders, water, atmosphere, objects, lighting, cameras, and renderers. One way to think about nodes is like layers in your scene. Each node has one or more inputs and one output. The node takes the input data, does something to it, and gives an output. Nodes can perform many operations on their input data, from applying a color or adding displacement, to basic math functions such as merging terrains together or clipping altitudes. Some nodes are specific to terrain generation, such as strata and outcrop nodes. Others are more generic, such as addition and multiplication nodes. Each node builds a link in a chain that creates your terrain, colors it, and eventually ends up connected to the main planet node. Node networks can range in complexity from relatively simple, such as the network from the default scene, to more complex, such as this one from one of the Terrigen preset scenes. Simple or complex, however, each scene is created from chains of simple building blocks, and understanding the blocks and how they fit together is the key to success. One important resource is the node reference page on the Terrigen website, which contains information on each node. You can also access the info page for a specific node by clicking the question mark button in the top right corner of each node. In the next video, we'll cover basic navigation of the node network.